In this video, I'm going to show you one of the glitchiest blitzes in Madden that nobody's really using, but I think is actually one of the better blitzes in the game. And it comes out of the Dime 146 uh, in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my full ebook on this formation, it will be linked in the description. By joining the Patreon down below, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including my full Dime 146 defense, which I've been saying since the beginning of the year is one of the best defenses in the game, if not just just flat out the best defense um, in the game. So I'm going to show you kind of this blitz and it comes to us actually out of a coverage defense, cover to sink. You're going to notice that there's something unique about cover to sink. When we come out in this play, you're going to notice that to the left side of the screen, this nickel corner is what's unique about this play. So we have this nickel corner or the slot corner like on the line of scrimmage. So the setup for the blitz is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line down or inside and then what I like to do is move this linebacker to the outside blitz him and then I'm going to QB contain and then I'm going to get back onto this guy and what you'll notice is this is one of the best looping concepts in the game um, I'll show you I think it's because I moved that linebacker but I'll show it to you again um, this this looping concept is insane so literally just Basically, pinch your D-line, crash your D-line down, move this guy outside like you would manually move someone for a loop. And then if he's not on a contain, just, you know, kind of work on your placement a little bit. Uh, but anyway, what you should see here is one, at least one, if not both sides, uh, looping. Now, real quick, did want to also show you this. If you don't want to move the linebacker, literally just crash or pinch your line, crash him down. A lot of times that guy's going to go on the contain. So you can do that as well. Um, the one thing with that is, you know, if you're going to do it that way, I would just pinch my D-line, QB contain. You want to stand over the guard, over the center, just like this. And you just want to come down just like this. You see how their, their kind of locomotion can be a little problematic? That's one of the pieces. Um, that's one of the pieces of the blitz here. The other thing you can do is if you just want to run it like this, sometimes it will still come in. You see how it kind of loops around. Uh, but anyway, let's get into some other stuff. So um, the beauty of this of this loop blitz is it can give you the ability to get pressure even if your opponent decides they're going to block the running back. So this five man, you just want both of your outside guys on a contain, and ideally you want to be crashing your line down. But as you see right here, they block the running back, and one of the loopers can still kind of get free and uh, get some pressure. So we have that going for us. Now um, I'm going to go through some other formations. U-trips was just so I could show you like block running back, block tight end. Uh, but I want to show you real quick bunch. Um, this is really good against bunch. So again, cover two sink, just pinch your line. And then now if you take a look to the right side, now we don't really need to move uh, this linebacker, right? All we need to do is blitz our nickel corner on the right side, and then we're going to crash our D line down and QB contain. And you see that both of these guys are on the contain. Now from there, you can do whatever you want from a coverage perspective. One of my favorite coverages is to use a hard flat and then maybe put my safety in an outside third, right? I could do stuff like that, um, you know, but this is, this is the whole piece. And then what you're going to notice here is a lot of times, again, we're going to get these looping disengages uh, within the 146 formation. Super effective uh, for getting pressure. Okay, so now let's talk about another meta formation, and that is the gun tight. Uh, gun tight is super meta for a reason. It's one of the better, um, you know, play, better man beating formations. It's also really good at actually pass, pass protection. So what you'll notice with this is kind of the similar to bunch. So you see here, we're going to uh, just simply pinch our line. I like to press and then back off these outside guys. So you see there, now, who would we move in this scenario? Well, if we QB contain, we know here that we're going to just need to move these guys off the edge. So we just grab these slot corners, slide them in off the edge, and then now we're in the loop. And what you should see is one, if not both of them, are going to come, come in completely free. Now, another thing that you can do specifically against a formation like compression or tight is you can audible to this DB Sting 2 buzz. The reason you might want to do that is because this is a little better uh, just for aligning against tight sets. The beauty of this 146 formation is I think it has the best alignment out of any formation in the game. It can really get you aligned well no matter what set you're facing. But what you'll see here is if they block the running back, the loop blitz is still going to come clean 
um, at, at the opponent. So as you can see, super, super effective. Now you could also, if you want to, let's say you're, let's say you're running this against tight, you can move that linebacker just like we were talking about. And then when you move that linebacker, you're still in the loop concept. So you're still going to get a loop on one, if not both sides, and you're able to get the pressure that way. So this is, this is an extremely adaptable pressure. Uh, in my opinion, like right here, you see, I'm just going to mo move this guy out and then we just uh, QB contain and then now you're in the loop concept. You don't have to do much and that's the beauty of this. We already know this year that I think manually moving people into positions is um, is is actually a norm. Uh, it's, it's actually a norm. It's not necessarily like a big deal. You know, people do this every play at a 3-3. Um, and they find a way to still adjust. We're only moving one person, whereas in 3-3, three, three, you're moving two people. And the beauty of it is I think the pressure is actually faster and actually better because now there's much more versatility from a coverage perspective. Guys, if you want to get my entire 146 defensive ebook, the link is in the description. Join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Mount 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video, and make sure to join the Patreon down in the description below.